This night is one of those me first love This night is one of fall When dreams become true Those are the types of headlines we've grown accustomed to coming out of Kabul. So it's no surprise that in 2010, the international media jumped on the story of three Afghan friends, all from different parts of the country, coming together to form the nation's first indie rock band. Yes, they appreciate the sentiment. Yes, it's almost impossible to make a rock album in Afghanistan. But Suleiman Kardash, the lead singer of Kabul Dreams, wants to talk about his music, his new album, and his new music video. Cutting a record as an indie artist in the US or UK is tough. To do it in Afghanistan is a completely different challenge. What has it been like for you the last three years trying to make this first album? Well, I think it's tough everywhere. The only reason is like we don't have any single management company or record label to go and to sign or at least to contact them. Musically, we are in the middle of nowhere. Like in Afghanistan, we don't have anything. We just we are in a in a step of like creating a s scene actually and trying to build that community and it's pretty tough but at the same time it's fun to do everything by yourself but now like even now we finished production uh, side of, of our album now we send it on uh, to San Diego we're working with a Grammy winning sound engineer uh, his name is Alan Sanderson and we're really excited about like working with him because previously he was working with Michael Jackson and with uh, Running Stones I mean on their recording so now that he's working with us I mean this is completely kind of new level for Cobble Dreams musically saying what's it like for the three of you to jump up on stage and fill a room that's Initially, it was so difficult. Like uh, I remember our first performances, the people were coming and watching you in a way. Like you know, you don't even know are they liking our music or hating? Like you know what I mean? Like I mean, just in in a way, like watching and staring at you, no emotions. They're not moving their eyes and lips and like you know their hands. So you don't know, am I doing right job or wrong? And, and are the, you wonder, are you wondering that because they haven't heard something like you before? Uh, maybe it's just the limitations we have somehow. You want to enjoy maybe. Maybe you want to just raise your hand or clap or something. But maybe because of the oh, I mean, environment, maybe you're just a little bit uh, shy or like you feel un uncomfortable. I remember like there were a, I mean, there was a guy and uh, he was like almost on all our performances. I remember that he came and he was very simple Afghan guy, typical, and he was watching us in a very weird way. And next show he came, he was shaking his ha uh, hand and hands, you know, like kind of uh, bouncing. And the next time he came with a black t-shirt, like, you know, I was like, oh my God, like, that's impressive. Like, there's a change. In a perfect world, with the sound engineer helping you in San Diego, when do you expect to release your first album? We finished the recording process. Now, uh, right now, it's mixing an album and, okay. and mastering it. So it's going to be, uh, hopefully, we're going to finish the mixing and the whole production within uh, two weeks. I really hope for that. And uh, 
then we expecting uh, to release it by um, at the end of February maybe. But actually, it was a secret. Why I'm telling you this? Well, maybe you, maybe this is your announcement. That can be. Yeah, you're right about like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into. But but things are very slow in in Afghanistan, like ten times slower than everywhere. I think. And what do you think this album says? It says so many things. I think. And it's it says like, uh, musically speaking, like it says that everything is possible. If you really want to do something, nothing can stop you. Like you know, despite the the, the mess we have, the chaos we have. No.